What's up fam, it's Brian Castrillo. I am a little late to this party, but we're here to review the final six episodes of Fear the Walking Dead. It breaks my heart that we're even coming to this, but let's talk about it. Now this is the episode that I just watched is Fear the Walking Dead, season eight, episode seven. It's titled Anton. And we begin this episode and you see, you know, everyone's playing soccer. Um, this camp really reminds me of Luciana's old camp um, where they even had a, in this camp, they even have a bus, which is the entrance to the camp. And it's just bringing back, you know, a lot of memories, um, which this episode is going to, in my opinion, it's bringing back a lot of um, parallels between, you know, the OG seasons, which to me, seasons one through three are our peak Fear the Walking Dead. Um, but what, what's what's your favorite season? For me, it's season three, without a doubt. But but anyways, we see um, Victor, he comes into this building, he's holding this white dove, he brings that in, and of course that, at first, I, I didn't pick up on it, but this eventually reminds me of Amina, um, which I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but we see Madison Clark, and Victor is brought up to the room, and it's just Victor and her, and he's looking at her, and this just very powerful emotional moment, he even has tears in his eyes, and they hug. And, and, and of course, remember these, these two are best friends through the, it was, they were there from the beginning, everything they've been through, just, just phenomenal characters. But then he denies, he even knows her and his boyfriend, Frank, you know, comes in with, with Klaus, um, Klaus is her son and, and he just starts denying that he even knows her, which is really sad. And I don't understand what really what's going on. And then we see you know, their counsel, which Victor's on, as is Frank, and we hear Daniel Salazar, my favorite character on the radio, and of course, Victor is afraid, and he's like, no, we don't want to let him in, he could be trouble, um, and, you know, he could really be hurt, and Frank is very suspicious of this, this whole thing going on, um, we see Klaus eventually is told to go help, you know, give Madison some soup and kind of help her, but Victor's like, no, I don't want him alone with Madison, and, and then as you know, we see this kid, he's feed he's feeding Madison. He's got some it looks like Italian wedding soup. And this whole camp is is a bunch of tourists that were stuck there. They speak German through this, um, which kind of threw me off at first. But as he's speaking to Madison, you know, he's attending to the white bird that we saw Victor with earlier, and she's telling him the story of Amina, um, with her kids, of course, um, Nick and Alicia. And and she's really starting to connect to him and which is is kind of interesting and we we or we kind of figure out why later on but now the, we see this group comes to the bus you know this bus that's the entrance and they're demanding to have Madison Clark and they want her um and Frank is uh, at first like denying that we don't have anybody like that and then we see you know, flashbacks of Victor Strand on the tower as he's yeeting people over the, the building off the roof. And eventually he just gives up Madison. And I'm like, what is going on? This is your best friend. You're denying her. And now you're giving her to these people who basically want, seem to want her dead. Um, but they br eventually bring her up and Madison and Klaus are gone. And they start saying, you know, how Madison was, you know, taking kids, which she, which she did. That's kind of her past with, in regards to, um, Padre and, you know, everything that was going on with that, but they eventually, you know, now they're, now they're looking for Madison and Klaus and like, they want to, cause you know, that of course is Frank's real son. And so they get with this group and they're chasing, you know, trying to find where Madison and Clark, I mean, Clark Klaus, so they can get Klaus back. And this was the funniest thing because eventually we see Daniel Salazar on a boat. Um, like he's Rambo, he's coming up, he's got, you know, the big guns and he's got people with them. And you see Victor, like the worry on his face. And again, kudos to Coleman Domingo, who has been a phenomenal actor throughout this entire series. He, the, the look on his face was pure fear and he just takes off. And if you know Victor and Daniel's history throughout this, you'll, you'll understand why he was scared. And it was just phenomenal watching him run away. Um, eventually, you know, they, they t take off, Vic, you know, Daniel's still chasing them, but, um, we see Frank and Victor in the woods and, there's, you know, this walker coming up behind him, eventually, you know, tries to attack him. And, but 
leading up to this, Frank is asking a lot of questions. He's not trusting Victor and doesn't understand why he's, you know, why he's being called Victor because he knows him as Anton. But like I said, this walker eventually comes on him and Victor's like shuffling through this stuff, this boat that he had hidden, which is also bringing suspicions to Frank. And eventually, you know, he pulls out the sword from back in his days at the, the tower and he stabs the walker in the head, saving Frank. And, a, and this is, you know, again, making Frank more suspicious. Like, why are, why do you have the sword? Where is all this stuff coming from? Um, but then we see them um, talking some more and Frank says that Victor, not Victor, but um, Klaus... To him, Madison probably reminds him of his mother. And we saw a picture of them, you know, where, and of course the mother was blonde, kind of resembled Madison. And, and he believes that he's, you know, he's attached to Madison because it, you know, she reminds him of his mother. Um, and Victor continues to double down that he is not Victor. He's like, I am Anton. That, I don't know who Victor is. Um, I am not him. Um, but then, you know, we see the boats coming to shore. Um, Victor basically, because Klaus comes back, well, eventually, you know, we, we see Klaus um, because he, he was with Madison in this building. Um, and, you know, they found him. And he and Victor's telling him, you know, go on, go on. I'm going to take care of Madison. I'm going to handle this. Just make sure you guys get safe. And he's telling Frank how he is, that he's still the guy that he knows. Um, we see... You know, Victor go back into this this building and helps Madison, and they're having a heart to heart. Madison is telling him, you know, about Padre, and you know, Victor is telling him about everything that's been going on, and they're just, it, it's just they're having a heartwarming. No, I don't want to say heartwarming moment, but they're real. They're talking about you know what's going on and why you know things are the way they are, you know, and also there's there's walkers coming in um eventually you know troy arrives and or not troy but that that group that was looking for madison they they arrive and they start shooting the walkers they end up saving them and they want madison um but then troy eventually comes and he arrives with an entrance that is so befitting of his character because he was such a cool character and probably one of in Easily one of the best characters of the entire series, hands down. Troy was an ama um, I, I just loved everything about his character. And he has had some of the best moments in the entire series. But he, he shows up and and he's talking about how he overheard the broadcast on the radio. And if you remember, of course, that was the radio where Madison was talking. Um, with That's going back to the whole Padre thing. And he's blaming Madison, saying it's her fault, everything that happened at the ranch. And he he's blind that's her fault um and then at the end we see daniel salazar come in with his group and he's basically um come to save but he says troy basically is talking about how he killed alicia he pulls out that you know that bone arm that she had and and you get this whole showdown eventually you know they get madison and um victor and everybody and they and they take off but of course, throughout this, Troy is threatening, you know, Victor. It's just a, a really great moment. Now, this episode, in my opinion, was was really good. I think um, what I liked about it, a lot of tense moments, a lot of great moments with in respect to bringing flashbacks to the previous season, kind of tying things up. A lot of great parallels in this, in this episode. Um, just between Victor and... And Daniel, Victor, I mean, Daniel and Troy, um, and Madison and Victor just, and really just bring, getting us to know who these new characters are. And I think this one really sets the tone for these final six episodes. I, I really enjoyed this episode, but what did you guys think? What do you think of Frank? What do you think of Klaus? What did you think of this episode? Um, and who is your favorite character? I'd love to know. Mine, of course, is Daniel. And then Madison, a close second. But thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Till the next episode.